Welcome back. Well, we are joined this morning by Evansville Chief of Police Philip Smith to discuss several events and outreach campaigns coming in the coming weeks. Yeah, one of which allows the community to get a better understanding of how the department functions. And it had a, a different name this year. It's coming back and it's called the uh, Community Academy. Yes. But it was the Citizens Academy, yes. which is kind of broad. But uh, what has changed? Not only the name. Well, uh, the name hasn't changed. I mean, only the name has changed. Excuse okay. me. Only the name has changed. That's just to be more inclusive of our ever-growing, diverse uh, community that we have in, uh, in Evansville. So everyone's invited. Everyone's welcome. We actually just uh, graduated our class of the, the Latino uh, Community Academy last week. I was honored to uh, give out the diplomas, uh, diplomas me and uh, Deputy Mayor uh, Lindsey Lacosto, and that was a great event there. You guys have been pretty busy because I know you had like the new recruits that you were mentioning and um, I think we were there for that but this is really cool because it's um, you do it in the spring and the fall um, so it's Tuesday nights is mm -hmm. that correct for 12 weeks and it's free. It's absolutely free and it gives you a very uh, in-depth look at the police department from all of our units administration just how a police department works how our thinking is you know the case law that you know that governs us you know, you get you just get the behind the scenes look at how a police department works. And it starts at 15 years old, right? Yeah, so, no, we want everybody knowing. <laughs> you yeah. could be in high school coming out to this. Now, say you are a 15 year old, or maybe you're uh, going to pursue a career in law enforcement. Would this be a good way to kind of get an introduction to that? Absolutely. You know, and and, and as it would happen, uh, while I was at the graduation, uh, Jared LaFollette, who is the leading officer, he's a sergeant over our police academy, which is Swalea, the Southwestern Indiana Law Enforcement Academy, while talking. Uh, to the the classmates, the class members of the last community academy, he said he he went through twice before he was an officer, and now he's a sergeant for us. So there's some great benefit. You get, some, like I said, you get some knowledge. Uh, knowledge base that you just wouldn't get from watching television. That is really neat, and it's a great resource too for folks that might, you know, might want a career in law enforcement, like Absolutely. you mentioned. Um, talk to us a little bit about the National Night Out. I know that's also taking place. You guys have a busy August. Uh, it, we, have a, we have a busy every day. You, you uh, know, you know, y'all are so busy. But National Night Out, uh, kind of talk to us about what that is. I know it's been around for several decades, you know, for that matter. But for folks that might not be fully aware, what well, is it? Well, it's typically how we kick off the start of the school year, and we invite families to bring their their children out and. It, It'll be this Tuesday, uh, uh, coming Tuesday, excuse me, August 6th at the C.K. Newsom Center. Um, and it's just a, it's a huge event to where we display everything that our police department has to offer to the public. We encourage uh, kids uh, to come out and we give out gifts and uh, the Vandenberg County Sheriff's Office is there. It's all law enforcement nationwide welcoming families and welcoming to kick off to school. Now, you mentioned the school. We have about 21,000 EVSE students in the city of Evansville, not to mention the uh, parochial schools, the private schools. You add that all in there. They all go back to school roughly the same week, mm -hmm. kind of staggering a start there. How do you prepare the motorists of Evansville uh, for those new habits that last pretty much, you know, eight months of the year? You know, we have school zones, we have crossings, we have speed limits to adhere to, and we also have the school stop arms on the school buses mm -hmm. now, too. Absolutely. So uh, we always kick off with a huge blitz of uh, traffic enforcement uh, to, to just get people used to those buses being out and those kids being out. So what you'll see is uh, you'll see the buses out, but you'll see an increased presence uh, from our officers. Uh, we offer uh, that as grants. We encourage our officers that are working shift patrol that if you have downtime when those uh, school buses are going, Put yourself at a bus stop, even if you have to do paperwork, and so that we can be uh, visible and present. Uh, Officer Andy Carlisle does a great job of uh, hiring our school crossing guards uh, and getting those people to work, too. So uh, definitely school safety is at the top of our mind. And what are you most excited for? I know when you kind of took over this office, it was like the back half of the school year, but now you're kind of getting yeah. the, the fresh start of the year. Um, and, of course, I know you're not unfamiliar with all the events you guys do during the school year, but what are you most excited for? I mean, we're going in the fall, a lot of new kiddos. Um, and with all the events, so what are you hoping to accomplish? Well, uh, j just to increase the footprint of the relationship between the EVSC and the Evansville Police Department. We have a great relationship with those folks. Uh, just capitalizing on that and, and just being present, you know, that's what I'm looking most forward to. A lot of times we hear, uh, you know, of course, on the scanner, we get the emergency calls, the immediate need for police mm -hmm. or first responders to arrive. There are people out there, and I know you've addressed this in the past when it came to fireworks, those kind of complaints. Uh, what do the people of Evansville need to know when they try to navigate your department? It's a non-emergency, but they still want to be heard by someone in your department about a complaint, maybe uh, suspicious activity. 
Um, how, first of all, who do they contact? And where do those investigations or follow-ups go from there? So there's a, there's about two a two prong approach to that. Uh, depending on the type of complaint, if there's like a fireworks complaint or something like that, you might not want to call the police department directly because you're going to get a directory and, and not talk to someone immediately mm -hmm. and and just have to sit there and figure out who who to get to. In those situations, I would encourage folks to call the non-emergency dispatch number. And that's four two six seven three three one to contact dispatch, and then we'll dispatch an officer out through the non-emergency line. And for a complaint on, let's say, an officer on how we do things procedurally, you can contact the Internal Affairs Office at the Evansville Police Department. Uh, just call the police department, listen to the directory, and, and, and you'll get your uh, complaint answered. Another question, uh, you know, folks downtown, very accessible, the Civic Center. You can go into the EPD's headquarters there. Um, sometimes we see, you know, crimes reported through the office itself they go in there and who do they speak to when they arrive well they arrive and they'll talk to the record uh, room clerks that are sitting there at the window and a lot of times if they have a complaint that they need immediate uh, excuse me immediate attention from an officer those records clerks will contact who's ever on station i actually just came out and took a report myself uh, and some folks I took the report from were surprised to see the chief of police. But, you yeah, know, you needed a cop, and I'm a cop there. And so yep. I'll come out and help and assist in any way I can. 